Hey guys, Trudy here from It's a True Story, and today we're doing something really awesome with my friend Luis here. Yep. We know each other from React, yes, the React channel, from Adults React. So today what we're going to do is something very special, and it's something that I don't even think people or kids today really know about. So what it is, is it's comedy albums. When we were kids, comedy albums were like a huge deal. It was a thing. It was a thing. It was a serious thing. So we have some of those albums to share with you today and a little comedy background. I asked Luis to do this because Luis is actually a professional comedian. Oh, yes, yes. I am. Yes, he is. I mean, he's actually seeming very sweet right now, but he's very, very dirty and uh, controversial. And uh, yeah. So Luis, how, just tell me, how did you get into stand-up comedy? Because I'm fascinated. I got into stand-up comedy because um, I thought that that was the road to um, to get gigs in acting, and also that there was gonna be money. Oh yeah. Then I found out there is no money. No. <laughs> I mean, unless like, these guys maybe. <laughs> unless like these guys. <laughs> right. But if you're in LA and you're a comedian and you wanna perform in the biggest clubs, whoo, good luck on getting some money. We're gonna get right into our comedy selections, but before we do, I wanna say one more thing, which is this, look in the description, Luis, Luis's has his own channel, which is 12 a.m. News. 12 a.m. News. So there'll be links to his YouTube, there'll be links to all of his social media. You guys should follow him, like, subscribe, all that stuff. You're gonna want to after you hear what we have to say. So I'm gonna start you out, all out with Lenny Bruce. Lenny Bruce! Lenny Bruce! Woo! And who remembers Lenny Bruce? I mean, I barely do, but what I do remember about him is like any smart comic owes uh, like a debt to Lenny Bruce because he yes. was the first guy to really blow the lid on obscenity. Yes. And actually he was busted for obscenity charges. Three times. Yeah. And this was like a whole First Amendment thing. And yeah. it was like the words he said were swear words, basically. And it was like the whole world was against him. Yes. So it makes me love him ever, ever so much. And uh, it is messed up that he did go to court three times. Uh, and some people even say that he lost a lot of his money just on legal battles. Right. Because uh, he, one of his cases went to the Supreme Court. Yeah, so when all the, it was a First Amendment case. Yeah, so we're not gonna say some of the words that this next guy is all about. Uh oh. We're moving on to George Carlin. I'm gonna let Luis take the lead okay. on this because this is a good boy. George Carlin. Okay. George Carlin, it's another dude that had problems with the law because of the way his jokes are, the way he sets up a, a joke and his punchlines. Sometimes, uh, he hurts people's feelings. Most of all, his opinions are very tough when it comes to religion and politics. Right. So if you are into any political party or you're part of any religious group, you're gonna have to um, kind of bite the bullet on this. Yeah, one. and Carlin's also my favorite, I mean, his most, probably his most favorite, famous bit was the seven words you can't say on TV. Yeah. Which you actually, there's a few in there now, like, I'm gonna say like piss, which was one of them, like mm -hmm. you can say piss, but there's the other ones you still kind of can't say him on TV, and you definitely can't say him on YouTube, so we're not going to say him, but you should look it up. This one, I asked Luis what he, who he loved oh from back in the goodness. day. Red Fox, y'all. Yeah. Red Fox, I like him because of uh, his vocabulary. Yeah. You know, the words He's that he uses, uh, his accent, you know, he just doesn't change where he comes from, which is really what comedy is all about. It's just like poetry, you know, if you really want to hit him right in the heart, you got to speak from where you come from. You got to speak of your past, your your mistakes, your downs, your ups, and this guy knows how to do that. Yeah, I didn't, Red Fox stand-up was not something I listened to necessarily, but I really was a huge sitcom fan, when I, so he was Sanford and Son. He was hysterical, very hysterically Love funny. It. And actually, speaking of that, as long as we're doing sitcoms, hold please. Uh-oh. Um, Freddie Prince. Freddie Prince. Dude, this album, I listened to it, and I think we I had it when I, my parents had it. And he was actually relatively clean, but talk, you know he's Puerto Rican and Hungarian. So he came from a very interesting mix. He was very funny, and he hit fame very relatively hard and young yeah. on a show called Chico Man. So he was- Chico Man. He, <laughs> his stand-up was very funny. And so that was fun to revisit. So I'm just trying to give you a wide swath. Oh, Too bad that his son didn't become a comedian, but he's a good actor, though. And he's super hot. Like, let's just get really clear about certain things. Y'all, Richard Pryor. I Richard mean, Pryor. Come on. He can't go wrong with this real, I mean, dirty and raw and harsh and hilarious and maligned and someone who had MS, somebody who had drug addiction, wrote Blazing Saddles. Someone who shot his own car? 
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and just, just so funny. Now, I like Pryor because uh, since his early age, he was on TV. Uh, he, would, he used to do clean acts. Uh, with a cigarette, he used to come out with a cigarette, uh, he would make some jokes, he would dance, he would sing, and you know what, in a way, I think that we are back in those days. Yeah, a little bit. It is hard for a, for a comedian uh, to just be a comedian yeah. and then earn a living out of that. Yeah. You gotta be in acting, you have to dance, you gotta rap, you gotta That's do true. all kinds of yeah. things, be in YouTube, be in social media, you gotta do all kinds of stuff oh just God, to I'm become so popular. so exhausting being historically funny. Yeah. I know, I'm exhausted. Are you exhausted? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. We're going to switch gears because we just gave you a lot of very classic, like, those are the comedians that all the comedians you love, that I love, like, built all on this. The OGs. Oh, yeah. Those are the OGs. But, okay. So I'm going to switch gears into, like, the little arty or whatever. I am actually a huge Money Python fan. Yeah. Me too. Okay. Yes. No, I grew up with this. Yeah. Hell yes. Okay. So even listening to their albums is hysterically funny. It's the voices. It's oh, the wow. like, and, and also Monty Python. Their, their songs, their sketches are yeah. so fr- The Ministry of Silly Walks, mm-hmm. Cheese Shop, Lumberjack Shop wow. song is on this one. I just heard that song today. So blasted yeah. on my face. I mean, we're not going <laughs> to sing that one right now. Yeah. I mean, Lumberjack is a funny one. Lumberjack is very yeah. funny. It ends up with a whole cross dress dressing, hysterical, oh, yeah. you know, and they were ahead of their time. Yes, they are. They were. <laughs> Still are. You know, talking story. about these guys, like like you said, they were ahead of their time. Even now, it's hard to go and, and uh, uh, make a, a joke like comedians would have done it back in the 70s and 80s. Because now with all these groups, you know, uh, I don't know, they got all kinds of groups out there. They just don't want people to say anything against them. And in other words, they don't want people to express their opinion, yeah. which is messed up. Because yeah. we all have different opinions, and that's what comedy is all about. You know, we're supposed to laugh at our. I still, I feel thoughts. like, yeah, I feel like our. Although uh, some of my favorite comedians, which are, it, are not on vinyl, so I'm not. Yeah. They're not in the record collection. Must has, but people like Sarah Silverman. Although Jesus is magic, yeah. was magic and hysterical, and you know who else can make rape and Holocaust and duty jokes and make them all sound fun and cute? Sarah. You know she does express things that you know aren't so popular. Although this is a weird segue, and I'm actually Jeez. changing things up. Anyways, going out of order. We were gonna finish with this one, but I'm going out of order because I thought I think Louis brought up something really interesting, which is that nowadays. Comedy, the way that comedy goes is you have to be careful about what you say. Eddie Murphy, man, this is, this is Eddie Murphy comedian is from, the Delirious was a special that I think everybody yeah. I knew yes. thought was the most hysterical thing. And this is like, the opening bit is all about like, you know, men having sex. <laughs> and the way he puts it, like, let's put it this way, like, I don't yeah. know if you get away with it nowadays. This is an unexpected choice, and I don't know if you guys know or remember Sandra Bernhardt. Woo, Sandra but, Bernhardt. Yeah, she, okay, so she, again, sort of what Louise was talking about, a chanteuse, singer, really funny storyteller, not necessarily a jokey yeah. jokes, but so classic. And then in the movie, she was Masha in King of Comedy, which is a brilliant, brilliant brilliant movie if you haven't seen an old Scorsese flick but um, but now she's like on Broad City okay and rounding up our list right now this is my own personal Ooh. soft spot in my heart this Steve time. Martin which this album I think I had the entire thing memorized as a wow. kid and it's still listening to it again as an adult it's a little shocking how clean it is yeah I'd like to point out that no, you don't have to be dirty all the time uh, I mean it helps if you're a clean person to. and that's where you come from and and you feel comfortable just speaking clean jokes, and you go for that. All right, you guys. So that's those are our top record. That's it. That's it. Oh, that's the record collection picks. Oh God, that's but what we got. Damn. So just want to thank you guys for watching because you didn't even know that you forgot that you love comedy albums so much, and now you need them in your record yes. collection, or maybe you did. So if you do, tell me about it in the comments. I want to know what are your favorite comedy albums. I want to thank Louise for coming out and being a part of this thank you fun little me. wrap up of all the things. And so if you like what we're doing, like it, subscribe, go on over to all Louise's channels, his YouTube channel, 12 a.m. News. News. And that's it. You guys stay funky, fresh, and funny. Yeah. Bye. See ya.